Hi guys, welcome back. Peter Webster here. Uh, after another bit of a break. Um, as you all know by everybody else's videos, it was the Eastern Invert Show at the Bunyan Sports Centre in Bedford yesterday. And I attended along with my brow Mark and we picked up... Uh, the great man himself, Alan Hicken, the spider man here, guys. And we had a great day. So what I'll do, I'll start off with the non-invert directly first. And I'll show you as we go on. Uh, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you who came over to say hello and had photos done. The photos that I have took have... Uh, all been put up on my Instagram now, so check them out at nice Pete underscore one. Um, I'm not going to try and remember names because my memory is of a gnat and I'd never remember everyone. But if, if there was anybody there who I didn't say hello to, I am sorry. It was a bit of a long day and I was getting quite tired by towards the end of the day. So let's go on then. Right, first off, um, <clears throat> the lovely Scott Tasker of Scott's Inverts came over to me and he said, I'll put your, your animal in the boat. And I, I totally forgot. I was brain dead. I didn't know at all. So I went to the car and I remembered that he'd gifted my wife this, this gorgeous beast here. This lovely corn snake. She's absolutely gorgeous, nice and lively. And my wife's over the moon with it. So I'll put her back now before it gets a bit uh, niggly and starts getting away from me. Come on, you little shot. In, 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 in. Like I said, it likes, it likes to be out. Come on. Come on. And as you may have known by Scott's video, she was a rescue animal uh, from the Cheshire Rescue Centre. Let me put her down on the floor now. And <coughs> Scott had helped out with the recent rescue with uh, Mr. Richard Birkin himself, Northern Exotics. The fight's on top of that tank there, darling, a bit. We'll sort of out of it. And uh, he gifted it to, to us, which I'm over the moon about. Uh, the next, uh, it's invert related, but not as in an animal foot. I got these off uh, the lovely Phil Barber's mom's store, Amazing Reptiles. And these are a couple of cushion covers. Uh, there's the one. That's the one my wife's had. I don't want to get them dirty. And this is the other one. Down. Which is mine. Which are absolutely amazing. The quality of these guys. It's unbelievable. If you want anything like this. Just contact Phil Barber. On the Incredible Inverts. And other animals channel. He's got a great channel. Very knowledgeable. Happy to help anybody out, guys. He's one in a million. The beard of knowledge. Put them down on top of Kimmy. And the next thing, and I've got to say a big thank you for this one. Um, <clears throat> you'll have seen my, my brows video now of uh, a gift that he received off Michael Taylor's girlfriend, Katie Eaton. And she had undrawn us both a picture. Mark was the predator. And that one is mine. Absolutely amazing centipede drawing. And it will be taking pride of place on Jesse Rose Viv behind me. And I'm planning on getting a tattoo of this. Put across my chest. Because I absolutely adore it. I was over the moon when they gave it me. So thank you Katie. You're an amazing artist. Right, let's get down to the animals and what we bought. 
Right, first off, I've got three, I believe, in here. No, was it two? Mm. Yeah, two. Uh, Platymeris bigotatus, which are the white spotted assassin bugs. There they are, there's one guy on the floor, and there's one up there on the, on the top. I've got a nice colony of these now. So I'll just add these to big up the colony a bit. The next, I don't know whether you'll see this one, is a, excuse my pronunciation of this one, Corellus species Java, which is a matte black scorpion and it's an adult female, which is a dwarf species of uh, scorpion, if I can find it. Come on. Look what's a little bugger bolt out here. It's down the bottom. I ain't going to be able to show you guys without disturbing her. She's down at the bottom. She's put her down. She's a little bit... Imagine a XMS and spinning for about 20 sizes smaller. That's what she is. I'll have a moment with that one because I do like my scorpions. Next off, I have a... Tripoda bolii or bowley, which is the lichen huntsman. It's a two to three centimeter sling, and if you if you can more if you focus, it's just on the side of the jaw there. Very hard to see, babe. Yeah, I can't get no closer than that, guys. I'm not opening the leak because these things are like little lightning bolts that just go. Next on, what should we show? Yeah, right. Crustacean wise, inverse wise, whatever you want to call these little things, are two purple vampire crabs, which I absolutely adore crabs in the collection. I think they're right little characters and a good fun to look after. Yeah, quite active. So these will be set up in a nice little enclosure oh, right I'll pop that on there next off a favorite amongst a lot of people in the obby blue death finding beetles and there's two in here to add to my colony which is dwindling just to big it up 12 pound each in the spider shop I love these guys, absolutely adorable. In fact, I like beetles in general. I think every species is just a totally different character. And I don't like these tubs at all. Right, I'm going to go into their little enclosure with their others. Aha, gone. Right, next off. As you know, I'm a centipede guy and Despite all the grief I've had off, you, off YouTube in the past, which is still going on, but I'm not saying no more about it. I'll let them have the fun until they get bored. And this is a Scolopendra Dahana, the giant orange leg. I did have one of these, in fact I had all the ones that Tony Webb had got, but for some reason or other, during selling a lot of my tarantulas, my centipedes had disappeared as well. Now there it is, about say six inches long, very active little guy. Can't beat centipedes, I don't care, they're absolutely amazing. Right, next, I haven't had these in the collection for a while. And I was happy to see them back about. And these are the Anthea Sex Maculata, which are the Egyptian predatory beetles. Two of them there. I do like these as well. As again, beetles. I think the majority of it, what I bought, was beetles. Right. That's that one shut. So that's those little guys there. Get a bit of 
clean up as I go. Right, next off, guess what? More beetles. And these are peach dung beetles. There's four in here. There they are, and these these also like to act dead. They are alive and well. I'll put that one up to the camera. See that okay? Yeah, I've got four of those off uh, Venomous Vision, Tony Webb. I've just got to get out to some horse manure. If anybody uh, knows to where I can acquire some, because I, I don't personally keep horses. Uh, I'd be much appreciated if you could let me know. The next thing I picked up was some more wife, Maria, two giant African black millipedes. There they are, guys. Uh, something gigas, archetropes, or whatever. I'm not going to even think about it. I know the last name's gigas. Because so, my wife's a fan of all millipedes, so I do try to get her some whenever I go anywhere. Next, we have another scorpion, this one you'll see. And I've never heard of the name of this one before. It's an Etrometrus simbromani, which is a, a toy forest scorpion. <laughs> and see if I can show you without it bolting. There's his nice big guy. I do like those. So there's another one. And now we're down to the last two. I bet you're all thinking, thank God. Which I have a male and a female pair of Philippus regius, which are the regal jumping spider. Uh, there's the male. Um, you might be able to see him, he's up in his web at the top, yeah? And there's a little female up in her web at the top as well. So, see how we get on with these. I've not had much luck with uh, jumping spiders, but I absolutely adore them. And the wife thinks they're hilarious when they're bouncing all over the place. So, I think that's it, any darling. Uh, yeah, so... Thanks for taking the time out of your day, guys, and watching this video, if you watch it at all, that is. Um, please go and check all the other guys out who have uploaded. Um, it was a great day, really was. Can't grumble. Met a lot of people. Um, the day literally ended, ended with a bang for me. Not in a good way. Was putting the scooters back in the car and... I just literally collapsed on the floor and for that I've got to thank Alan Ikin because he was the only one who could lift me up and he got me back into the car. So Alan, you're a star mate and I'll never forget it. So guys, from me, Peter Webster, and my adorable wife Maria behind the camera, we will see you on the next one. Not sure what it's going to be. Oh, I do know, I've got to put a short up. Um, the one animal I picked up Mark phoned me up when we got back and said uh, I've gained an animal and looks like my daughter Sophie who come with us on the day put mine in with Mark so he ended up taking it home but I'll do a short showing you that one it's one I've had before in the collection but it, it's one that meant quite a bit to me so I had to have a replacement for her so that'll be the next short video up on the channel so, once again, I will see you all again. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, share the love. Really enjoyed it. Thanks for everybody again who came over and said hello. It was amazing to put a name to the face, or a face to the name, as I say. I'm getting right cocked up here. So, okay guys, I'll leave it there. See you all again. Love you all guys. Bye bye.